Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my teacher. Today the topic of my lesson plan is patterns and symmetry. This is basically for class 6. The subtopics are various types of patterns and symmetries. Teaching aids are whiteboard, color marker, dusters, specific Dishai flashcards, marbles, etc. General objectives are to create interested maths, the mathematical attitude, independent thinking and explaining. Instructional objectives are to create knowledge, understanding, skill and application of patterns and symmetry in daily life. Previous knowledge assumed is that they are Students are aware of various numbers, alphabet, shapes, etc. For previous knowledge testing, what we are going to do is, we are going to give them a particular type of pattern. Like over here, I have given them a pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I have told them to complete it. So they can complete it like that. I have written A, B, C, D and I have asked the students to complete it. Next, I have given some other type of pattern from where I get no response. So now I announce my topic that today we are going to study patterns and symmetry. The presentation is as follows. For patterns, patterns in maths are generally some type of relationship between numbers or objects some specific relationship basically like we see over here these numbers 2 6 4 6 8 10 12 so you see these are increasing by plus 2 similarly we have a pattern of shape here we have got a rectangular shape and a basically a dot which is moving anti-clockwise so this is a specific pattern Similarly, we come to symmetry. Symmetry is something in maths which the object is invariant under it. Basically, it includes translation, reflection, rotation. So, over here you see in this picture, the circle over here, it has got reflection as well as rotational symmetry. That is, this is the line of symmetry. If you fold or it, the one half will completely lie on the other or you can say it is the mirror image of the other. Then the line basically about which the object is mirror image is called as the line of symmetry. Now we come to the recapitulation of the chapter. For this I have given them some examples and asked how they have what type of pattern will come next. Then we have given some uh, lines of symmetry to draw that whether we have to tell whether the figures are symmetric about the ob particular line of symmetry. As homework, again, we have some other patterns of objects, then patterns of mathematics and alphabets. Then over here we have given that we have to find out whether the object is symmetric about a given line. And similarly, over here, we have to find the line of symmetry of particular objects. So this is the end. Thank you, everyone.